Scorpio. Welcome to your love reading. I hope you are well. I hope you are fabulous. If there are any questions about the new schedule rotation, check out the updated message in the description box, yeah? And for those of you who supported me and followed me on my new alternative ASMR channel, thank you so much. Uh, I did the first video and the feedback was great. Thank you so much. I just... It's wonderful. It's wonderful, and I can't wait to make more. I'm just, I'm just gunning to make all those ASMR videos. But thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate you. As always, you are and continue to be my biggest contributor by far. <laughs> I mean, surprise, surprise, Scorpio gang. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Scorpio energy in love. What's up? What's going on? Once more, we're using the Labyrinth Tarot because we love it. We absolutely love it. You know, I bonded with it almost immediately. It was amazing. Oh my goodness. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Scorpio love energy. I have to tell you, I'm enjoying it. This is my preferred method. I'll tell you, as I discussed in the updated message video, this is my preferred method of tarot. I take my time and I layer. I like to layer. I like to layer. And so I'm so glad I finally just did what I should have been doing from the very beginning and broke out of that box. So even though there's fewer messages... The depth of them are, is much more so. And that's that's all I want, you know? And I've really been enjoying it, and I hope you do too. What's going on, please? Show me that Scorpio love energy. Show me that Scorpio love energy, of course. I do recommend that if you watch tarot, if you benefit from tarot, that you have a wide variety of readers, you know? Be they rapid readers, middle road, or in-depth ones, you know? We all benefit. I have a variety of folks that I like to watch. My favorite uh, rapid reader is Laura from Sweet of Cups Tarot. I love what she does and how she does it. Um, Middle Road, absolutely. Molly from Real Housewives of Tarot, love her stuff, absolutely. And then, of course, Baba Jolie for the in-depth stuff. So you got to have a, a variety of folks, you know. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Scorpio love energy. But yeah, absolutely. Everybody's different. Everybody has a unique sense of impression, interpretation, as well as feeling. Okay, that intuitive piece are individual energy stamps that we get while reading, all right? What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for Scorpio. Show me that Scorpio energy, please. What's going on for Scorpio? Show me, show me, show me. Okay. Page of junk, page of pentacles. For some of you, looking at old memories, sure. Reminiscing, good old days. Some of you might have some incoming communication. Oh, yes. It's an active decision on somebody's part, possibly to balance up with you. There's that old fool concept. You're having a hard time playing the fool. I've seen that for you before. And I say this all the time, Scorpio has no problem playing the fool, so long as there's a reason to play the fool for. If there's someone worth being foolish for, you won't do it. I mean, you won't have any problem. You won't hesitate. Here you're hesitating. Um, somebody's dropping a line of communication, but I tell you, the more tight and practical that message is, the less inclined you are to be a fool. Um, there's nothing to work with or to entice you. So that's for some of you, not all of you. Okay, that's very interesting. The more rigid that message is, the less inclined you are to respond to it. Um, in other words, the more safe it is. The less devoid it is of thought and emotion, the less likely you are to respond to it. All right, what's going on, please? Show me what I need. That's for some of you, not all of you. That was a hell of a thing. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. For that Scorpio energy. What's up? What's going on? I'm very excited. I'll be switching up my background in about a week or two. What's going on, please? The recent past is the Eight of Pentacles. You working. You working. Time has passed, Temperance. You've been working. You've been working for a while. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you. That's you. Under your direct placement. Fate. You. Death. Oh, my. Under your placement. So we are standing in our power, yes? All right. Very good. The one surrounding you. The Knight of Cups. Oh, yes. Somebody trying to throw some love your way? Mm-hmm. Let's see what's up. What's going on? Well, we could do with that, couldn't we? We could always do with a little Knight of Cups, couldn't we? Mm-hmm. Some of the future, please. Little Knight of Her Cups never hurt anybody, you know. Oh, kill me with the romance. I dare you to try. Oh. <laughs> 
Be gentle. <laughs> I'm so cheeky. I love it. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you're receptive to it. You're looking quite intimidating, my darling. What's going on, please? You're standing in your power, your own direct placement. So that's going to take some nerve. Come rolling up on Scorpio when they're in their full power. We are in our season, after all. Somebody trying to roll up on you when you are feeling yourself. That's a little intimidating, yeah? Show me the future, please. Show me the future, please, of this connection. Let's see who has the nerve. Let's see who dares. Who dares? Who dares? Indeed. Judgment. Could be a fellow Scorpio. Nine of Swords. Hmm. Six of Swords. Hmm. Why are you thinking so much about it, then? Moving forward, there's some hesitation in you. Are you being confronted by a new romantic energy and you're kind of pulling back from it? Hmm. Why is the anxiety there? Nine of Swords. Six of Swords. you got to make an active decision to move on from this or not. Why is it such a big decision though, Scorpio? Why do you feel like there's so much consequence surrounding this person's energy? You're putting way too much thought into this person if they're just a Knight of Cups. So that tells me they're not just a Knight of Cups, are they? You are really thinking this is heaven and hell here. Why do you think there's so much consequences surrounding this person? Your advice. Queen of Cups. You're overthinking it. What does your heart space dictate? It's either a yes or a no. You don't need to overthink it. I have these little talks with you from time to time. Overall, you got way too much mental energy, honey. Seven of Swords. Look, if you doubt a connection, it's a no. If you have no reason to doubt the connection, then you're overthinking it, and therefore it should be a yes. I know you're busy. Okay, but it's taking some nerve for this person to approach you when you're in true form, and you are in true form. And you are in true form. I'm looking at you. They are looking at you in true form. And yet you are treating this like it's a do-or-die decision. Honey, it either feels right or it don't. It's the Queen of Cups is under your advice. Be yourself. What is your heart space dictating? You're, you're treating it like it's a do-or-die decision. It's either a yes or a no. So wh what's with the judgment? What's with the Nine of Swords? What's with the Six of Swords? <sighs> I'll lose everything if I say yes. I'll lose everything if I say no. i got to move on from it. What's with the drama? And the Seven of Swords is the overall. You got doubts. Sure, that's reasonable. But save your doubts until you had a couple dates. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> save your doubts when you had a couple of dates. It's like date one. You raise an eyebrow. Okay, there's doubt one. Date two. You raise another eyebrow. Mm, could be red flag at that point. Date three. You raised your third your eyebrow a third time. Oh, honey, no. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not in a good way like oh you're into that that that's that's the good eyebrow okay the bad eyebrow <laughs> that's the one i'm talking about okay now lightheartedness aside you are either a overthinking a brand new connection in love someone who's taking nerve to approach you while you are in true form or b this ain't someone new and you're having to overthink it you're overthinking it because you're like, oh shit, I know that person. Oh shit, I know that person. Then that makes sense. In which case, though, the advice still applies. What does your heart space say? Let's see what your heart space says. Let's get into it. Which one are we using? Okay. Show me. Yes, I can see some of you have been dating. Eh, it's okay. Couple of folks, maybe. You don't really seem to be, yeah, so you're just not into it. You know, it's okay, but you're not really into it. Um, you are, yeah, so some, I'm seeing this on the split. Your energies here are on the split. Some of you are actively seeing folks. You're not really into it. That's good. You don't need to throw out the whole, all the cups at one time. Um, that's the whole point of dating. You either connect with someone or you don't. You either connect with someone or you don't. If you don't, move on. And if you do, continue to explore it, right? That's just a reasonable thing to do. But some of you aren't connecting because you haven't fully healed. That's true. What else, please? What else is going on? 
But for the most part, you seem to be happy on your own. Wait, as I said that. So, show me this eight of pentacles, please. We're working on that money. Some of you might have some very strong earth in your chart, but for the most part. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please, for Scorpio. All right, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Eight of Pentacles, please, for Scorpio. Okay, Three of Cups. You're bringing it together. It's not that you're not trying, <laughs> but you're also holding back simultaneously. In other words, i.e., you're not into it. And cross watchers, sorry if you're offended. I don't know what to tell you. Scorpio seeing folks, and you ain't connecting. Practically speaking, you're seeing people. Social events, you're having a drink, you're having a laugh, cool. You're connecting. You might just now be opening back up from social distancing. That's true. I've been seeing that for several folks. But for the most part, we've been holding back. You, oh, 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 I see why you're holding up. Okay, okay, okay. I see why you're holding back. Yeah, you're meeting folks. You're dating. You're trying to bring it together. You're literally working on it. Um, but it's, it's casual. It's easy. It's fun, i.e. it's dating. Okay, um, you're not losing your mind, but you're also not fully contributing. You haven't gone full throttle with anybody, and I tell you why. You're, you're looking for that special little magic. Uh, your your King of Wands energy says you want to be a little more excited. You're having fun. You're having a laugh. You're having a couple of drinks, and that's great. Uh, but you're missing that special little something. Okay, that special little fire energy, and that's what you're manifesting. You're manifesting a more fiery connection. <laughs> There might be someone here that you're particularly interested. Oh, there is someone here you're particularly interested in. That's for some of you, not all of you. Oh. Someone basically I saw with a sharper mind, which I can't say I'm surprised because you love a good mystery. Um, all Scorpios seem to be attracted to mysteries, one of our default applications, if you will. And that's where your interest or your fire peaked is with somebody who has a sharp mind. Okay. Show me. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. You want to you want the little intrigue. Mm -hmm. Someone who has a sharp mind and or sharp wit. What's going on, please? But yeah, you're working on it, just in the general sense. Underline can be very interesting, but in the general sense of things, you are bringing things together. You are going out after work drinks, sure, uh, hanging out with coworkers and friends, but it does seem to be kind of like a happy social engagement, lighthearted, but predictable, structured, safe. In other words, under control, nothing crazy. You're not just giving your energy out, which is good. Um, what else, please? What else, please? What else, please? What else, please? Yeah, but you're still disconnected. Five of Pentacles, you still feel lonely, in other words. Okay, so it's not that you're not trying. You are seeing folks, but it seems to be in a safe, predictable, structured way. You're not giving your energy into any one particular direction. You still feel lonely or disconnected from that. You haven't found that special someone to contribute more of your energy to. You seem to be holding out to someone who can excite you more. Okay, so I'm not saying you're devastatingly lonely. What I'm saying is at the end of the day, you still feel disconnected from other people physically. In other words, you're not seeing someone with regularity. This is what I'm saying is general engagement, but your energy is still disconnected from anyone individually. You seem to be holding out for someone who could evoke more fire and or mental activity. In other words, you want that mental engagement or you want more of that passionate intensity. I saw your fire being aimed at someone who meets more of the intellectual qualities, someone who can hold a conversation, has a sharp wit, um, good sense of humor. That kind of, I always forget to say this. The King, Queen of Swords have or are noted for that sense of humor. You think they're not, but that's the benefit of having a sharp mind. You can think faster, strong sense of humor, that kind of thing. Um, that's who you seem to be want to be more engaged with, and you're just not meeting that particular person. You cycled out with a couple of folks. Nothing's generating, nothing's taking seed. You are still manifesting for something more, a stronger opportunity. Okay, cool. Temperance, time has passed. It also might be that you still have some healing to do. Let's take a look at that. Hopefully it's active healing, but let's take a look. Show me temperance, please. The emperor, you're standing in your power. You're insisting things have to be just so. I don't know why we're like that. We just are. Yeah, you see you're holding out. <laughs> you are holding out for something that's a lot more engaging. You're insisting. It has to be just so. So be careful with that emperor energy. 
That's uh, airy Satch, by the way. You might have some of those on your chart. God knows I do. So some of you are standing in your power, insisting that you're holding out for something to be... You don't mind being lonely at the end of the day. At the, at the end of the day, you'd rather go home alone than with somebody you're forcing yourself to see just for the sake of seeing them or saying that you have someone. So you are seeing people, but no one's really catching. No one's really taking. Not for the long term. Not where it counts. You want something more. You want your energy, particularly your fire energy and intellectual energy to be more engaged. Okay? Uh, but yeah, you're standing in your power, you're insisting on this, and you're holding out. That's you holding out right there, baby. Empress, I mean, I'm sorry, the emperor over temperance. That's you holding out. You're like, I can wait. I got Netflix. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm holding out. And so you are. That would also explain why your card just showed up in your slot. Death is in your position. So yeah, you are very much holding your own. You're very much yourself. You're very much comfortable with yourself. You're a little lonely at the end of the day, but you're not letting that affect you. You know, you're not going to let your loneliness dictate your relationships, which is good for you. A lot of people engage with relationships because they're either bored or because they're terrified of being alone. You're like, fuck it. I might feel a little lonely, but that's not going to dictate my actions. Sorry. That's you holding out. That's what holding out looks like. Stubbornly, too. And you've been at it for some time. You have been at it for some time, so you're seeing folks, but nothing's taken. Like I told you, there you are, you're seeing folks. Mm. It's like, no. You're holding out for more, baby. You are holding out for more. There you go. Crosswatchers, sorry if you pissed off. If you want to know why Scorpio's not that into you, there you go. Um, but this is not for Crosswatchers, it's for Scorpio. There you go. Uh, we're holding out for something more, you know. You've set your mind to it and you're insisting upon it. Let's just be careful with that insistence. Just be careful. Remember, it can be to his own cost, that insistence. But let's take a look at you, what's actually going on with you. Show me death, please. 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 Show me death. What's going on? You. You are communicating and acting thusly, so your energy is in alignment. So, that's good. Alright, I'm pleased with that. Mm -hmm. I, ooh, ooh, I am pleased with that. That's good. Damn. Okay. There you go. Um, you are not sparing any unnecessary communication or any unnecessary engagement. It's like I'm done with that. Well, you don't cut the fat. <laughs> Pisces took me on a hell of a ride. I mean, I was like, I, I gotta get off this roller coaster, man. I was, my emotions went up so high, and yours are just like, eh. <laughs> that's great. No, that's great. Oh, man. You are so in tune with yourself. This is great. Um, so energy alignment, let's talk about that. Most of the tension in tarot comes from energy misalignment, okay? And that's when there's what we want and then there's what we're doing are two different things and that's where the tension comes from. Your energy is so much in alignment, it's stupid. I would dare say it's efficient. You're reminding me of Capricorn right now um, because Capricorn's energy tends to be very efficient, very compartmentalized, and so I can get through their readings rather quickly. So you might have some Capricorn in your chart. Um, but for the most part, you know, your energy is so very much in alignment with itself. Anything that does not benefit you, anything that doesn't immediately present itself as being correct is gone. That's why you're coming across as so stern, so insistent that I know what's right for me. Very big insistence right there. I know what's best for me. Thank you very much. I would tell you what's right for me. Everybody else can go away. Thank you for your opinion. <laughs> so there's this like, I know what's best for me, and it's insistence on your part. Good God. You are standing so much in your power. Now, if you did experience loss recently, I am sorry. It looks like it's falling on you to deal with that. Okay, so that would also explain the kind of insistence about what's best for the situation and or circumstances. For some of you, and I have to insist upon this, some of you might have lost a fatherly figure or um, a fellow Scorpio as well. And if you've experienced that recently, I'm sorry. That would explain all the strong decision-making I'm seeing right now. Um, you're being relied upon heavily. 
okay, this aside. But outside of that context, it's just you understanding what it is that you want and you're being assistant about it and you're cutting out any unnecessary action and or communication that does not meet your approval or does not meet your personal goals, you know? Um, so again, it, your energy is coming across as very insistent. I know what I want. I know what I'm doing. Get out of the way. <laughs> so again, it's kind of coming across like a little, a little intimidating. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can't say that you're not also in alignment with yourself either. So there's that. I mean, if it, if it ain't, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, but yeah, it's, it's coming across a little intimidating. So all the more reason that's taking that much more nerve for this person to approach you with this Knight of Cups. Well, let me tell you, I mean, I'm looking at this and I'm like, damn. <laughs> you know, that Scorpio is a little intense, you know, and it's like we are in our season. <laughs> but um, there you go, honey. Your, your energy is coming across very strong-willed. And again, if somebody cannot meet you where you are, you're not going to meet them at all. It is that simple. You have made a decision to cut out and or turn your back on all communication and or action that does not benefit your current situation. Meet me where I am or go away. You know, it's like, um, damn, Gina. All right, some of this Knight of Cups. I almost, I almost want to, I almost want to cheer this person. I'm afraid, like, you know what it is? You're like that cat right now, okay? You're like that magnificent black cat, that gorgeous, shiny, beautiful black cat that's got green eyes. And it looks so beautiful, you want to pet it. But you also know instinctively that as soon as you do, it's going to swipe your ass. That's how you're coming across right now. <laughs> you are that gorgeous black cat with those gorgeous green eyes that you know you, you want to pet it because it's so gorgeous and it just you're just like, oh, what a... And you know, it's like, it's, it's going to scratch me. <laughs> That's why you're coming across right now. So I don't know who this is, but I kind of want to be like, are you sure? Are you sure you want to head in this direction right now? Wow. Well, I'll tell you this, though, whoever you are, if you're thinking about approaching this Scorpio, you do so. I, and I'm going to tell you this right now. Crosswatch, I'll be real with you. Okay. Um, I do know this. Whatever it is I'm about to see, you impacted this Scorpio well enough that you're causing them... Uh, you're making them think, like, hardcore about you as an active decision. So I kind of want you to do it because it looks like this Scorpio needs it, if I'm being honest with you. I think this Scorpio needs to be taken out of that kind of intense pathway because we can get very much up in our heads about this is correct and I know it's correct. And all fixed signs are like that, but <clears throat> Scorpio has that kind of intensity of feeling behind it because we're fixed water. So whatever it is that you're about to do or how you approach this Scorpio, however this plays out, you're going to get this Scorpio to think. And that's half the fucking battle, honey. I swear to God. If you can get a Scorpio to think about you, it's like game over. Because we don't really spare thoughts to someone that doesn't engage us. But when they do engage us, it's almost permanent. So, let's see what happens, honey. <sighs> oh, I almost want to give you a little pep talk. I think I kind of did. I hope you do. Even if they, even if, even if this gorgeous looking cat, okay, male or female, I don't care. I've seen some gorgeous Scorpios, honey. Okay. Um, male Scorpios, female Scorpios, whatever. <sighs> even if they turn around and scratch you, you leave an impression. So let's see what they do. Let's see what you do. Knight of Cups, please. Some of this Knight of Cups, please. Let me know if you, okay, you might be a Leo. Don't have to be. Yeah, well, I would, yeah, I would say that's a fair assessment. You're going to have to be strong in delivering your love message, that's for sure. <laughs> you want to get this Scorpio's attention, you're going to have to be. Um, it's taking you some nerve, baby. You got pride. You got some nerve here. Delivering this Knight of Cups message to Scorpio. Let, what else, please? Four of Swords, think about it. Or you have been thinking about it. You haven't done it yet. It's still an active decision on your part. There it is again, to deliver that love message. 
you have to decide to do it, right? So the person surrounding you, Scorpio, is making an active decision right now on how to approach you. Four swords can represent the calendar month, absolutely, but it also represents being quiet because we haven't worked out the details yet. Okay, so this person's still trying to figure out how to best approach you. Um, they seem to be resolved to do it with that strength energy. Um, I'm going to bring my love message forth to Scorpio. However, I want it to be just right, just so. Uh, so just to let you, it could be done with a fixed sign in the general sense. But yes, they are making an active decision to come towards you. They want to get their details and or message just right. What else, please? What else, please, about the person surrounding Scorpio? Anything else about who they are? A clue? Okay. Five of Wands. Why? Why the Five of Wands? Are they battling themselves? What, what's with the Five of Wands? Why with the tension? Why is the tension? Why the tension? Why the tension? Oh, it comes back to that decision again. Okay, the tension. Should they and how should they do it? I think they will, to be honest with you. They also might want to know, FYI, if you're seeing other people. The answer is yes, but you're not hooked on any one of them. There you are. You a little jaded. Mm-hmm. You're a little jaded, but you're working on it. That's kind of what's contributing to your aloofness right now. But you're still on your star pathway. Okay? Oh, that's contributing to your aloofness is that you're a little jaded right now. All right? But someone is fighting with themselves. There's some tension here about when and how to communicate with you, but they're going to. They're going to. It's going to take them strength and or nerve to do it, but there it is. There's the little message right there. I'm seeing it. They've already resolved to do it. It's really just a matter of details and how, and then also this person might have a great deal of pride, so that tells me it's probably a fixed sign if they're fighting themselves on, uh, instead of just being super casual, toss out a message to Scorpio, see how it lands, which is what we would might uh, more contribute to the mutable signs or the cardinal signs. The fixed signs don't have that kind of mentality as we do. Okay, uh, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, uh, Aquarius. So they don't have that kind of casualness, all right? There's the pride thing involved, and I want it to be just right and just so and so on. So someone's thinking very hard about how to approach you. I just know that they will. They've already made up their mind about that. It's just getting the details right. So I'll try to dig more on that. Uh, but let's keep going. I don't know what it is that they say. I'll see if we can see it. But I, I just know that it sets you thinking real hard. Somebody interrupted your little pathway here. What's going on, please? You're like, I refuse to turn my head to anyone or anything that doesn't meet my particular interest. They got you turning your head. Show me judgment, please. Show me judgment. It could be a comeback call. I'm not going to lie. Could be a second chance. Let's take a look. Show me judgment, please. Show me judgment, please. Show me judgment. <clears throat> Show me judgment. It's either a decision or it's a second chance. And that's what's gotten you conflict. Show me judgment, please. Hello. King of Wands. Leo energy does not have to be. But more of that determination. There it is. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, it's, ha it's happening, Captain. It's happening, Captain. It's happening. It's happening, Captain. Okay. 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 It it's happening, Captain. Uh, Page of Swords, yes, of course, we're keeping an eye on the situation. Your head is so determined, though, to look in one particular direction, i.e. your own needs. Okay, it's coming across as very strong-willed, even aloof at this time. I don't think you're aware of this page of swords. I don't. I'm confident you're not. Um, you're de you're so immersed in your own world. Um, determined to move on, see new folks. You go home a little lonely at the end of the day, but you're not going to just give your energy away to anyone. You seem to be fine with that. Again, your energy is in alignment with itself, so if you're not worried about the Five of Pentacles, neither am I. Okay, see how that works? Um, so it's judgment. It is a comeback 
call. It is a second chance and there is a disconnect between you and this person who isn't very intent on seeing you again or speaking with you again. And the Ace of Wands is backing their energy. So I know the intensity is there. I know that the sincerity is there. I know that the passion is there. Um, here's what they're looking at. They got to get through this. This is the fifth the fifth wall. As if it's the five of pentacles. It might as well be the fifth wall. Um, to for the sake of balancing up and or seeing you bare minimum so even though it's coming from a practical place i would like to see you it's been a long time five of pentacles okay um they are trying to keep i i would disagree with this this is what i think their mistake is right here because you're having a hard time seeing their intentions and i can already tell you why the problem is is because they're keeping their passion behind them in other words keeping their passion in check so they're trying to reduce it to a casual visit and that's their mistake right there uh, i know that because you're putting way too much thought into it you can't figure out what this person's intentions are and that's because they're trying to keep their intentions behind them their passion and intensity behind them when they should be bringing that to the forefront and that will help bridge the gap more easily uh, because you respond to intensity what you don't respond to is this casual I could give or take this situation which is what they're trying to present it as and you've been doing that and you're not again you're not responding to anybody because they're not bringing the intensity that you want so the one thing that they're afraid to show the most is what you would respond to the quickest see what I'm saying I saw it for your underlying. You want someone to engage you mentally. They want to. You want them to engage your fire. And this person I know could reduce a lot of the bullshit if they just put this at the front. That interest, the intensity, the burn, right? So I will give them this. They're having some nerve coming forward, but they got to bridge that five of pentacles, and it would be a hell of a lot easier if they just put their intentions up at the forefront, or at least their interest. Show more interest, not less. They're trying to keep it safe to a six of pentacles. I would just like to see you. It's been a minute, five of pentacles. It's been a while since we've connected. Um, so they're taking the approach to you very seriously, too seriously. They're actually leaving their own intensity out of it. They probably think it's the best thing to do to approach you from a safe point of view, but it's actually going to make things a lot longer drawn out than it needs to be. Uh, be upfront, I would advise then, with the actual interest and intensity, because the more you act neutral, Scorpio is going to give it back to you. Well, if you're acting like you don't care, then that tells, or you're not really interested, or you're neutral, that tells me how I'm supposed to respond to you. So here's, I'm going to serve that right back to you. Whereas if you show genuine interest and sincerity and fire, Scorpio will either respond in kind or they won't. And perhaps that's why they hold back, Scorpio. Because they're afraid that they, you won't show it back. Mm. So they're going to give it a safe serve, I guess is my point. I guess they're going to throw you a safe serve. See how you respond. But here's the thing, you know, like for like, if you're going to give Scorpio a soft serve, they'll probably give it right back to you if they can't discern your interest. So it's tricky. It's tricky. They're going to watch and see how you respond. We're like, I'd like to see you, but if not, then not. Then Scorpio's going to be like, okay, then not. <laughs> That's all. Okay. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if it's no big deal to you, then okay, no. Uh, no. So that's why the judgments here, decision, they are reaching out, bless them. I think the thing that would help them the most is the thing that they're trying to show the least of. Um, but again, it's a soft serve. It's a soft serve. So try to keep that in mind when this person approaches you. They have a lot more feeling for you than they're allowing themselves to show. I think they're trying to keep it safe or practical. They're not trying to freak you out. That always amuses me to no end when they're like, I don't want to freak that Scorpio out. So, And I'm like, do you, do you not know, Scorpio? Do you have any idea what it takes to freak us out? Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't want to freak them out. You know, it's been a few years. I don't want to freak them out. Okay. <laughs> that always amuses me. Anyway, Nine of Swords. I just know that they got you thinking now, baby. Nine of Swords to the Six of Swords. Should you move forward with this? Should I not? I don't really know what this person's intentions are. Yes, I know them. Yes, I'm familiar with them. I might even be willing to meet with them, but if that's all they want to do is just check up or check in, then 
what's the point? That's what I've been doing, and I want somebody who's engaging. You see what I'm saying? You see, you see how? I oh, see because I already saw it for your underlying. You want somebody who engages your passion or your intellectual side, and that's exactly what they're refraining from. So I don't know how you're going to meet this. I know you're thinking about it, so that tells me you know this person. This is likely a second chance type thing, or you knew this person once upon a time, maybe in that way. Um, and it didn't work out. So now you're like, should I, should I, should I? So you're thinking way too hard. You have to follow your heart on this one, honey, because it looks like they're going to give you a soft serve. In other words, play it safe, and that's the one thing they probably shouldn't do. Uh, you would have a clear direction about what to do. So there you go. You see how shit plays into each other? I mean, really. Nine of swords, please. Six of swords. Should you? That's all you're thinking about. Should you move forward to this? Should you move forward to this? There might be some distance between you two. You might have to go out of your way to see each other. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I move forward? Should I move forward? Six of swords is here twice to the nine of swords. Should I? Should I? That's just the one thought. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Over and over again. That's all there is here. They didn't give you enough to work with. In other words, like I said, if they didn't play it so safe, you would have a stronger indication of what it is you're supposed to do. So granted, this person sent off your mental gears, but they're not giving you enough to hook you or convince you that you should move in their direction. You see what I'm saying? The one thing, the one fucking thing that you want the most is the one thing that they are putting behind them. Like, don't t show too much of that. Don't show too, they'll freak Scorpio out, or they'll say no, or they'll reject me if I show all this. On the contrary, if they showed more of this, you would have less hesitation. You see this shit? Do you see how this works? This is why people watch tarot. It's because of shit like this. Okay? Energetic conflict. There's what I want to do and there's what I actually do and that's where the tension is born. You know, Six of Swords, please. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, slowly. Yeah, yeah. You really thinking about this. Because you're like, is it worth it if they just show me a bunch of neutrality? I'm not interested. Show me you're interested. Otherwise, I'm not going to give you shit. So, I don't know, man. You're going to move towards this so slowly. You don't know if you should put anything into this or anything into this person. You're overthinking it way too much. You're overthinking it. Wait, honey, the way you're kind of casually seeing folks back here, but you're not attaching. Just treat this person the same way. Until they can give you more of a declarative. Until they can give you more. Or don't at all. You don't have to. Let's see what your heart. Your advice is follow your heart space. What is your heart telling you? You know? What is your heart space telling you? I can see that they're trying to play it safe. Especially if it's a second chance or a comeback call. Or you haven't seen this person in years. And they don't, you don't, they don't know how you're going to receive them. You don't know how they're going to receive you. I still insist though, despite that, whatever the circumstances may be, you're still overthinking it way too much. Um, if it's causing you this much conflict, then probably no, okay? Uh, but if you are curious, then try it out. What else are you going to do? Unless you got to fly 6,000 miles, then fuck that. No. The answer is no. Catch up over email, okay? You know, it's like, <laughs> or don't. Because again, you can still show passion and intensity even in email. And if they can't even give you that in a fucking email or whatever, or a phone call, then the answer is still no. It still stands. It still applies. Okay, show me this Queen of Cups, please. What does your heart say? What does Scorpio's heart say about this situation? Okay. That's very interesting. Six of Wands to the Five of Cups, eh? It's no wonder it's taking you so long to figure out if it's worth connecting with this person. You really want to see some sort of sincerity from this person, and you're not getting it, and that's why you're so conflicted. I told you, these problems are so... This is what happens when there's what we want to do versus what we actually do. This person wants to show you more than what they're allowing themselves, and as a result, is causing the very conflict that keeps you from holding back. Yeah, if they just gave you more of what it is that you are wanting to know and or feel, it wouldn't be such a struggle. Your heart space is pretty much saying you would feel more confident about seeing them if you could be guaranteed of some sincerity about their emotions. Do they actually want to see me? And if things ended badly, are they sorry for it? Or are they apologetic? Or do they miss me? Five of Cups can be as simple as I miss you. Okay, you would have more confident 
in your heart space about seeing this person again if you had some measure of their emotional depth and not just, hey, I wanted to check in on you. Who the fuck wants to be checked in on? You're not luggage. There you go, the 40 minute marker. Mm. Where was I? Your heart space, your advice is to follow your heart space. You would have more confidence of direction if you had a stronger sense of their feeling. They're not giving you enough feeling. What they're giving you is practicality. I would like to check in with you. Would you like to check in with me? I have more interest in you than that, but I'm not going to show it because I need to play it safe. I'm kind of afraid of being rejected, but I am interested in you, but I'm not going to show it. Would you like to meet with me, Scorpio? It would be nice to catch up with you. And you're like, bitch. Do you miss me or not? Do you have <laughs> do you have real feeling for me or not? Otherwise, I don't. I I'm not. And I have been saying this more and more often. I think people understand it. I'm not luggage at the airport. You don't need to check in with me. You either want to see me or you don't. You either miss me or you don't. You either want some feeling there or you don't. Like what? What? Give me something to work with. Give me some emotional direction. I can. Anybody can do this. I can do this with my neighbor down the street, okay? Anybody can do this. I want to know, do you want to see me? Do you miss me? Okay, I'm not a dog at the kennel. I don't need to be watched and I don't need to be housed and boarded and fed and groomed. I want to know, do you miss me? So they have the good intention here, Scorpio. It's just... Their best intention is what they're hiding the most. Okay, and they're trying to keep it safe. I'm just saying that they're likely hyper aware of this Five of Pentacles between you two. They do want to catch up. This is playing it safe here because of this. So it's an active decision judgment to come back around to see you, but what you want to know the most is what they're showing you the least, and that's part of their decision-making process. So part of that struggle is how to communicate with you, and that's the details that they're working out. They, it is coming from a Knight of Cups energy. It is. It's just, it's really hard, for, especially if they're prideful, if they have a lot of pride or that kind of... Um, what we would associate with the Leo's pride or that kind of Aries determination pride as emperor. Okay. Um, <laughs> but even then, it could be just a fixed sign because there is this pressing need in this person to get things just right. But also, um, I want to do it. I want to approach Scorpio, but I need to do it in a safe place. And Scorpio is like, fuck that. I want to know what your feelings are. Because I, I, I can have a six of pentacles with guy I just met at the bar. Are you a guy I just met at the bar? Because if you're not a guy I just met at the bar, you need to show that you're actually interested. You know? Don't make me treat you like some stranger I'm catching up with. Fuck weather talk. Do you miss me? Do you have feelings? Show something. Get sincerity in there, right? So I will say this. To whomever is relating to this as the cross watcher, you do get Scorpio to think. I just know that you need to express more, not less, if you play it safe. Scorpio, while granted you get them to think about you a great deal, I can't guarantee... I mean, tarot doesn't guarantee anything. Tarot doesn't dictate action. The energy does. Actions dictate actions. Not tarot. Okay. I just know that the less you show, or the less... In, let's put it this way. Let's... Stop thinking of the Ace of Wands as the Ace of Wands. Think of it as your enthusiasm. The less enthusiasm you show, the less likely responsive Scorpio will be in the way that you want. Okay? The less you act like you don't care or to keep it safe, Scorpio is going to be like, What? <laughs> get to the point. And Scorpio very much has that disposition, is get to the point. You, what? What? I, I could six of pentacles with anybody. You, you want me to six of pentacles with you? Why? What's, what's your motivation? Why do you want to see me? Do you understand, Scorpio? Why do you want to see me? Show some enthusiasm. That's the most basic form of wand energy you can, you can have. Okay, in any kind of communication to Scorpio or otherwise, show some enthusiasm. Don't sit on your throne and be like, I, I can't show that, I can't show that, I can't show it, I can't show it. No, we don't want to do that. 
you're trying to bridge this particular divide. I can tell that there was a disconnect between you and this person, and you're taking it, and to your credit, you're taking it very seriously, and I totally respect you for that. I get where that's coming from. I get where that's coming from, right? I'm going to take a strong guess. You're a fixed sign, or you have very strong Leo qualities in you. Um, but it's, it's, I respect you for that, but Scorpio needs to know that you're more than just somebody they just met, and they could give or take. They need to know that you're actually interested and have enthusiasm. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Seven of Swords, your overall Scorpio, honey. Whew. Okay. Yeah, you manifest them. No. Contrary, they are. I take that back. They're the ones that are manifesting. They just haven't resolved upon how. The details yet. Oh, there is some past history between you two. Well, of course. Just because there's a Five of Pentacles doesn't automatically mean that there was a breakup in a relationship. No, but there's definitely memories between you two. It's a Six of Cups thing, but it's under the moon. It's like long ago and kind of far away, or it's disconnected, or the emotions were never fully developed, or something like that. Um, they are overthink. They want the communication. It's right here. It's just they're overthinking the boundaries. I don't want to put too much of myself out there, right? So they're trying to get it just right. Four swords. I got. I'm overthinking the details here, when really the connection between you two is very simple. To say, I would love to see you again. I'm excited to see you again. And look, oh my God. Speak from your heart space. You want to see what happens when you speak from your heart space, without it trying to be so controlled and rigid and and predictable. I got to be able to predict the outcome. I have to have the odds stacked in my favor. I don't want to be hurt or whatever. I don't want to put too much of myself out there. You see what happens when you just speak from your heart? Look at that. Look at the way Scorpio's energy just opens up when you speak from the heart space. So when you just open up, look at that. Look at the way it just unfolds. It's very pleasurable at seeing you again. You see how when this is what happens when you connect with Scorpio on a basic, predictable, low-level way. It's okay. But nah. When you open up in a way that's natural and fluid, do you see how well Scorpio is responding to you? This is the happy three of cups. This is meeting people to meet people. This is dating, and it's okay. But we could give or take that. Here's Scorpio happily meeting somebody. Okay? The energy opens up remarkably. Okay. Now... The Seven of Swords, the doubts, the concerns, the secrets over you're like, I don't I don't know what this person wants from me. I don't know why they want to see me. It's been how many years? I don't know. <laughs> they don't really see it's like, great, you're in town. So you're just trying to fit me into your schedule? Like what? Like I don't I don't get it. <laughs> Seven of Swords. It's like do you miss me or not? Show me that you have some enthusiasm, otherwise why? Like what the <laughs> you your energy is so wet, which I get on the same way. Like, what's the point? <laughs> Tell me that you have a point, because if you don't have a point, no. You know, Seven of Swords is like, I either... Two, two sides, Jesus Christ, honey. Oh, my God. You're manifesting the decision, I know. You got to decide, honey. You got to decide. I tell you what, I don't know who you are, but I will say this, regardless of your approach... You got this Scorpio thinking so bad. And like I said, that's half the battle. So there might be some hope for you yet, honey. <laughs> you got Scorpio thinking. And like I said, that's half the battle. But here's the problem. It's not enough positivity. You got him thinking. And I know you have more feeling and more fire than you're expressing. I know you do. Because um, this is what you are up against. You are up against Scorpio's goals. The star to the eight of pentacles. Okay. Um, I have seen repeatedly for the Scorpio that they are standing in their power. Cutting all, all the fat. All unnecessary communication or engagement is shut down. They occasionally go out, but they're still dissatisfied with what they've experienced. Okay, fine. They are very much standing in their power. They literally pulled death under their own placement. So this is what you're up against. Okay? This is where their energy is devoted to, their pathway in goals, money, career, and so forth. It's very intense for Scorpio at this time, okay? Um, so that's what you're up against. So in order for you to break through that, to get 
Scorpio's attention, you're going to have to show more enthusiasm, not less. You have to show her more mental engagement, not less of it. You can literally say, I'm thinking about you, or I've been thinking about you. Um, still, that shows more than, hey, I happen to be in town, do you want to catch up? Or, I'm in your direction. Or, it's been a while. This is what you're up against. So, and Scorpio's literally thinking about diverting their attention to see you, but they're not sure. Because they've got a lot of shit to do. Okay? There's that Knight of Cups. There you are again. There you... Ooh. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Show more enthusiasm, not less. Mm-hmm. Show more enthusiasm, not less. I'd love to know who the hell you are. Maybe I'll find out. Oh, maybe this is... I'm part of the collector, too, you know. Okay, um... I am being kind of nosy, if I'm honest with you. I want, to, I, want to know, I want to know when this person makes up their mind. I can see it over here, the engagement to come forward, second chance, but this energy is so interesting. The instinct in this person is very strong, very strong. The passion's there, the interest is there. Everything that you want is what they hide the most and they try to keep it in a safe space. They do watch, but you're not paying attention to that. You're clearly engaged elsewhere. Um, and it set your wheels off immediately, your mental wheels. Okay. Um, yeah? All right. Let's do some timing. Let's do some timing. Three of Cups. Eight of Swords. You don't see it. Win. Timelines are flexible in tarot. Please do keep that in mind. That's because we're all on different timelines. What applies to one person may not apply to the other. Tell me, please, when this person decides to come forward, when this person decides to come forward, I can think, I can see their intensive thought process over here. Um, it is coming from a place of sincerity, but also conservatism. And I, I, I think it's the safety thing. Play it safe. They don't really know where they stand with you, so they're going to softball it, something like that. Um, I can tell you this. So congratulations, you get Scorpio thinking. But the thing is, it's 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 too much neutrality and or negativity as opposed to positive because they don't know what you want because you weren't up front with it. It could be as simple as, I think about you and I'd like to see you, or I would just really like to see you again. That would be great. It could be that simple. It's some indication of interest, okay, which is what Scorpio is looking for. Um, because this is what you're up against, baby. Hardcore working on them goals. You got to break that line of sight. That's what it is. You got to break that Scorpio's line of sight because right now they're fixated on something and it's, they're not apologetic for it either. I must say, quite headstrong right now. Okay. When, please? When? 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 When might this message come in? When might this message come in, please? When might this message come in, please? Okay. <laughs> four of Pentacles. Who did I keep seeing four for? I know I saw four. I've been seeing four for somebody. I really can't recall, guys. I do so many of these. I can't recall. I just remember outstanding numbers. I've been seeing outstanding numbers for 26 and then also the number four. So, so four, some, that, honey, that could be four days, four weeks, four months, the fourth of any given month. I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't know. God, hopefully it's not four years, but... I'm not saying for you to wait, and clearly you're not waiting. The Scorpio I'm looking at probably doesn't even have time to watch this, okay? Or if you do, you make time for it, in which case, bless you, honey. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you. Um, what else, please? Other time checks. There it is again. There's that divide. There is that divide between you two. This person's very acutely, keenly aware for it. You're not looking for them. You got shit to do. Honey, you pulled up Emperor and your death card. You're obviously not waiting. Um, but there's that clear division. It's a matching sweet energy, so 4 plus 5, 9. For some of you, not till next September. For some of you, we're looking at April, May as well. The 4th of a month, the 5th of a month, so on. Also 9. Okay. The moon. You simply do not know. It's whenever this person feels that the timing is right. 
I'm going to say that's also the number 18. For some of you, it is your literal birthday, so the 18th um, of November for some of you, okay? And for some of you, not till Pisces season, all right? Which is after Aquarius season, so it's going to be late February, okay? Yeah, for some of you, that will be late February. Any other time checks, please? Late February to mid to late March, that's Pisces season. All right, so yeah, for some of you, it is early spring. Uh, there he is again, King of Wands, twice, boom. Even if this person isn't a fire sign, specifically Leo, that's the intensity that they have for this situation or for you, and they are keeping it at bay, okay, for this idea of timing to be right or until they get the... Why is that detail so... That is fucking with me. That is, this is with the details. Why are they trying to, they're trying to figure out details. Why are they trying to figure out details? Somebody's scrolling. Somebody is scrolling. They're trying to get the details. There's that four again. Ace of Pentacles. The lovers, fuck me. I mean, really. The lovers, Ace of Pentacles, four of wands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. The energy is so much stronger then this person's leaning towards ex uh, exuding, or showing, or demonstrating. I get maybe that's what they say. They really do consider it a second chance, but they don't want that to come out. They want it to come off as super cash, and that's the first mistake. <laughs> Honey, Scorpio, don't do casual. Okay, we don't do half-assed. We're up here, or we're down here, but we don't do this shit. Okay? We don't do this shit. All right? We're up here. Are we up here? It's either hell yes or hell no. But this, eh. We don't do meh. Okay? I'm not saying you gotta be crazy. I'm not gonna say you gotta drop a marriage proposal. What I am saying is that you gotta show some enthusiasm, not less. You know how Larry David says curb your enthusiasm? No, no, no. <laughs> not, not, I love that show. Don't get me wrong, but that's not applying to the Scorpio's love life. I distinctly saw for their underlying energy that they want the intrigue, they want the intensity, they want the passion, they want the full engagement. Okay? So the best way you can hook a Scorpio after how many years or whatever of the disconnectivity is, I've been thinking about you and I'd like to see you. Or, I would love to see you. Let me know if you're open to it. That's the simplest thing you could say in Scorpio. would be like... Would you? Hmm. Because like I said, you get in there, but if you present neutrality, like, hey, I'm going to be in town. You want to catch up? Not really, no. <laughs> I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying... Bless us, that's how we are. I just, you know, it, that's how we don't respond well to neutrality. We just don't. <laughs> okay, oh, bless you, honey. I know you're trying. You're putting a lot of thought into that. And Scorpio, you got the heads up on this. Okay, so don't act like you don't know when this person comes around. Don't be a dick, all right? But if you really feel like this person's a bad job or you shouldn't bother, then you really don't need to put all this mental energy into them. Okay, I just know that it's coming across as a big deal to you, but they're not giving you enough to work with in order to give them the positive answer either. Um, it really is like, and the, there's that big daddy energy again. So very strong Aries, very strong Leo energy, or again, this is the reflection of the time of Aries possibly. But yes, that's, that's the emperor decision here. The tower, there you are, underlying. I think that's enough. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. I think we're good. Is there anything else we want to... Is there anything else we want to put... Really? I'm surprised by this. I'm really surprised. I wasn't expecting to pull this one. It's on the distant horizon. It's on the distant horizon. Courtship. That's the thing, man. That's the thing. It's the courtship. I think this person wants a genuine second chance. I think that they are burying their real interest and their intensity behind this idea of safety and balance. Um, again, there's this idea of they don't know how you're going to be receptive to them. So it makes sense, Scorpio. It makes sense. It's just, you're like, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what they're feeling like. When, I don't know. It's like, um, you need your heart space is like, get me something real to work with. Um, and then you would know what to do. 
Okay, 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 okay. Uh, anything else, please, here? Oc occupation. Okay, again, just to summarize Scorpio's world right now. <laughs> They're occupied with their occupation. Uh, so, yeah, you have to, you're going to toil and labor. They're just working really hard right now. So you're competing with Scorpio's vision. So if you really want to get their interest, you're going to have to show more, not less. Uh, and trust me, they want the break. They do. They want the break. I've seen it repeatedly. That's why they're just not really engaging beyond their regular environment. It's because they're their total preoccupation elsewhere um, with their work energy. And that's why they're not really seeing anyone. That's not why they're that's why they're really not attaching to anyone. Okay. Um, so it's taking a lot for you to get them to change the course of their their sight. Okay. Um, there you go. It's fascinating. You know. Anything else, please? Oh. oh. It's not over. That just flew out in reverse. It's not over. Coffin's in reverse. It's not over. Not even death is permanent. In tarot. It's not over. Ooh. 19th might be important to some of you. For instance, my birthday's on the 19th. Okay. Um, but yeah. Uh... Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm saying they, they they feel more than what they're going to show. It's not to piss you off. It's not to disappoint you. It's 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 a safety thing. It's um they don't know what they don't know what your reception's gonna be. Okay. So I just know your reaction's like, I don't know what they want, so I'm just not I'm just not gonna I'm just gonna <laughs> So again, show more, not less. <laughs> okay. Anything else, please? I feel like I need to pull something from the tarot of sexual magic, please. What's going on here, please? You. Could be a fellow Scorpio that you're dealing with. It also could be the dead of winter. Another timeline. So winter. Uh, the winter timeline. And then also the 13th might be important. Then also just in gen general reference to our season, which is now. Okay. Uh, three of swords ah uh, so it's a heartbreak that's been over it's been over it's been done that's what i'm saying there's a gap between you two clearly okay that heartbreak whatever this is it's over it's been over it's been done okay again you're not looking for this person they might watch you they might look to you but you're not looking to them you're clearly preoccupied elsewhere this is old heartbreak that's done been over and then also reference to three weeks which would uh, land us yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, for some of you, Taurus could be, doesn't have to be. You might have some Taurus in your chart. And this could also be in reference again back to over here when we are in Aries slash Taurus season. So that's going to be April, May. Okay. And that's for some of you, not all of you. But yeah, it's old heartbreak that's been there. It's been done. It's been killed off. Okay. Um, there you go. It's, yeah, like I said, it's, it's old. And with it comes some emotions, yes. But for the most part, it's it's reminiscent of the past. It's old heartbreak that's been done and dead. Um, it might come in bearing in an apology or a sincere sort of regret. Okay, this idea of um, I miss you or something like that. All right. Anything else? I think that's about it. Hey, I'm just... I'm very confused, though, about one aspect. Let's see if there's timing here. I was already say, what is the sexual energy? Um, either the sexual energy was so intense that it was burdensome, or it never happened at all. This is the card of first penetration in this deck. There's that five of pentacles again. You know, sometimes, honey, when there's so much confusion, you have to make your own resolution. Sometimes things end in such a confusing way that all you can do is resolve yourself to move on, even without answers. And I just feel like that's what happened here. Um, break up, why? Disconnectivity, people move on, people move away. Feelings change, sometimes feelings stay the same. There's really no guarantee. What this person's motivation is, I don't know but they're trying to put a great deal of thought and sincerity into it. Um, 
so do keep that in mind even though it's coming across as maybe neutral it's it's it might be self-protection okay they don't know how you're going to respond um i just know that they need to show you more not less otherwise you may not see it correctly for what it is okay your eyes just might glaze over them like well it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal so i'm going to treat it like it's not big of a deal um you know, there you go. All right, let's do some charms, please. Try not to get that so close to the microphone. I know that can be annoying. All right, what's going on, please? Well, this was interesting. Okay. Th that is so funny. I just got this lotus candle. I was already say the lotus. Lotus is one of your um, flowers. Uh, every All signs have flowers that are attributed to their sign. Yours, One of yours is the lotus. But yeah, look, look at that. I just got a lotus. Isn't that neat? Oh, neat. Yeah, maybe this one is for me. Ooh. The Lotus can I love it. Lotus. Confirmation of you, baby. High romantic notions. Very strong romantic feelings. Okay. The Crescent Moon. For some of you, this will revolve around the Crescent Moon phase. Absolutely. Oh my God. Tiara Princess. I can't personally associate with that. But <laughs> wearing your crown as well. Of course. As the Emperor wearing your crown. Stingray. Confirmation of water sign for some of you. The dragon. Confirmation of Aries Leo Sag. And then I always forget this. Um, the dragon is also one of Taurus's power symbols. Uh, let's see. We have Q, J, G, L, Q, two Qs. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's not a G. That's an O. I mean a Q. We got a Q and a, what are the odds of that? Q, O, G, L, S, J. Stop. Okay. 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 Let's play for a minute. Let me just play. I feel like there's something in here. Hold on. Isn't this great? I'm loving this. I'm so glad I broke out of that 30 minute box. Jesus, it was so suffocating. Oh, this is how I like to read tarot. I do what feels correct. This is how I read. I told you it's separation, baby. There's a gap between you two. And whatever pain there is, it's been over, it's been dead. Yes, there's some remorse. Yes, there's some regret attached to it. But for the most part, there's not the intensity of pain that there once was between you. Otherwise, I don't think this person would consider it, right? But yeah, there was clearly a separation or a distinct absence period between you two. All right? Um, hand of cards. That's what I'm saying. Right there. Hand of cards. Yes, they're taking a risk. But it's like um, they're considering their options. This is like thinking, thinking, thinking. What do I have to work with? What do I have to work with? What's in my hand here? What is in my hand here? What are the details? I need to understand the details. So this is what am I working with exactly and how can I use it to my advantage? And so they are trying to, yes, they are resolute and approaching you. It is coming from a sincere place. However, that conservative energy, the need to hold back in case they offend you or they don't know what your reaction is going to be or they just feel the need to play the safe themselves, okay, which is their mistake but also their approach. So it's not meant to be an offense or to insult you. It's just they're trying to play it to their hand, okay? So I would advise them that they show more, not less. Dragonfly, there's proof of transformation or that there is a new phase between you two. Okay, there might be a new phase between you two. The dragonfly, the transformation, time has passed. Okay, your heart space does not feel the same anymore. It doesn't feel the same anymore. You have transformed. They have transformed. Um, I see the nerve. I see the energy. I see the passion. That's what I'm saying right here. It's not enough. It was either, this is either a backstory I'm seeing with the not enough in coffin, not enough in the first time around, which is what ended in the death, okay, uh, of this particular relationship, but not enough was given, so the result was the ending of whatever this was. Or, back here, if they don't show you enough, it's going to be a dead duck out of the water from the very get-go. Okay, so if they don't show enough on the upfront, you're not going to engage with it. It'll be over before it starts. But granted, you're going to think about it a very long time. Okay, but um, honestly, your your energy's just, I just know that this is going to be a dead duck in the water if there's not enough on the upfront. Interest, I want to see you. I've been thinking about you. Something like that. Something that expresses sincerity, not neutrality. Right? We don't want to be here. Neutrality equals meh. Anybody can give or take meh. It's like buying a Big Mac and then immediately throwing it away. You know it's no good for you. 
okay? It just doesn't mean anything. It doesn't impact your life. So you could just as easily buy it and just as easily throw it away, okay? So don't hang out in the meh, all right? Nobody really wants a Big Mac anyway, all right? We were... Oh, oh shit. I just started some shit. I'm sorry. I forget. I don't eat fat. I'm not trying to be an asshole. I actually don't eat fast food. Some people love, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You love your Mickey D's. I'm sorry. Oh shit. I feel like I just started something. Oh, I just felt the energy. <laughs> shit. I'm sorry. Some people are really intense about that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean, I was just being glib. Okay, some you love your, you know what you love your big you love your Big Mac, you 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 get your Big Mac just in moderation. <laughs> okay, <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay, some people do love their Big Macs. I'm just saying, I'm I'm more of a, you know, I'm more like a steakhouse person. But that's that's me though. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, Scorpio, I hope this was helpful to you. Crosswatch, I hope this was helpful to you too. Um, put in the comments as you see fit, guys. You take care. You be well, and you stay gorgeous. And you just, you just enjoy that Big Mac if that's your thing. <laughs> okay. All right. You guys take care. Be well.